Listen closely, and you'll hear the sound of the Podcast Whisperer. David Allen challenges you to learn what it takes to be a world-class podcaster. Because everyone has a story to tell. This is the Podcast Whisperer, and this week's episode is social media and politics. Take a listen. You are now listening to a podcast made in collaboration with the Copenhagen College Radio. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Episode 77 of the Social Media and Politics Podcast, bringing you expert insights into how social media is changing the political game. I'm your host, Michael Bassetta, political scientist at the University of Copenhagen. Connect with the show on Twitter by following us at SMNP Podcast or swing over to our Facebook page, Social Media and Politics Podcast. Welcome back, Podcast Whisperer followers and listeners. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. This week, we are deep diving into social media and politics. One of two of my favorite topics. I'm not really much of a politics person, but that's the reason I chose this show is because this show, as he said in his intro, is a podcast bringing you innovative firsthand insights on how social media is changing the political game. And what's so interesting about this show is this interviewing style. And another reason I picked this show is because really, honest to God, I've listened to most of the episodes. He's about 77 episodes in right now on iTunes. Everything looks great. 18 reviews. I mean, he's getting a lot of upticks on iTunes, which is great. So people are listening. And it's this show is kind of very, very niche in the sense that you have to be into politics. You have to be into social media to kind of understand what they're talking about, one of which I'm into. I'm not really into politics, as I said, but... I learned some things from this as well. So that that is the goal in all of this. When we are doing podcasting, when we're doing our shows, we want to educate and we want to understand what we're talking about. You can't just throw it against the wall and expect it to stick. So let's look at the facts. So he launched on 10-27-16, 77 episodes in, eight, 18 five-star reviews, and his episodes range from 19 minutes to about 60 minutes. So it really depends on what topic he's talking about and who he's talking about. So let's dig into the intro a little bit. So you heard that in the beginning of the show. Amazing, amazing intro. Everything you need to know about the show in the first, what, 20 seconds. So you immediately know as soon as you listen to that intro, oh, this is something I want to listen to, or it's not something I want to listen to. And the cool thing about his his intro as well, what I really, really enjoyed about it, is the fact that he asked for your social media right off the bat. He asked for you to follow him on social media right off the bat. I thought that was great. Connect with the show on Twitter by following us at SMNP Podcast or swing over to our Facebook page, Social Media and Politics Podcast. In most cases, that does not work. But the way he has it well written into and the music and things like that, because we don't want to over promote, right? So we're, we're trying to get our listeners to listen and subscribe to our podcast and, and always come back when there's new content. So directing them somewhere else is not always a good idea. But the way he has this in his intro, I thought it was just very well written and very well inserted in there because it was just so great that, He just wanted to kind of put that out there and immediately right at the beginning of the show. So it's a good idea in this instance because you want to direct them to the social media. So while they're listening, they can also check out your social media. So great job with that. And of course, the audio quality is just absolutely brilliant. I mean, it is great. He talks to people. The really cool thing about his audio quality, though, is that he pre-records his interviews, and he tells you that. He's up front with that. The audio quality is going to drop out because I would rather talk to somebody in person. And I truly, truly, truly appreciated that. This is an interview recorded on the road, and as a result, the audio quality takes a bit of a hit, but these conversations are just so much more fun to have in person. So I hope you enjoy it. What a brilliant thing to say to be so conscious of your audio quality that you warn the listeners, hey, just letting you know, this was a face-to-face interview and the quality does take a bit of a hit. And he's right. I love doing face-to-face interviews, but you do, you know, you have to take into account, you know, we're not in the environment as our recording studio. You know, like I'm in a recording studio right now doing the show. You're not necessarily doing that when you're in the streets talking to people or in their ambient environment, which is not always the most 
recording friendly environment. So kudos to that. That's that's great to be able to pay attention to that. And then if you also pay attention to the tone of his voice, it's very enthusiastic. It's very light. It's very good. And he's just very energetic and just, you know, I just I just love listening to him. Let's take a listen. One of the key differences with mines from other social media is the ability to pay other users, uh, particularly in cryptocurrency. So I want to ask, what's the thought process behind that model of sharing cryptocurrency to boost a post or to reward other users for content? Yeah, I mean, the crypto has been so much fun to integrate. We had a, a, a point system back in the day in like 2015 when we first launched the apps, where it's just an internal currency, points you would earn for doing doing things. And then one point would give you one extra view if you earned it and you could boost your post for more views. And we did it because... In that clip, you heard them talk about something that I don't know anything about. But because of the way he was addressing the guest and the way that he was talking with the guest, it just flowed so easily. And you really – it's so easy to listen to. I want to take a moment and talk about interviewing styles. I really, really like – his interviewing style because it's very laid back, non pressured, non aggressive. You're not like, oh my god, blah blah blah. You know, because people do that, and and we we often get starstruck by people that we're talking with. You know, whether it's a childhood hero, and and I have plenty of experience of this because when I was growing up, you know, I loved artists like Crystal Waters and Alternate and and people like that. And when I finally was able to speak to them, I was just tripping over my own words. I was, you know, just oh, uh, 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 yeah. You've got to be prepared. You've got to show up for your interview. And that's what he did. He sounds very prepared. And keep in mind, folks, he's face-to-face with these people. So there's no flubs and there's no, oh, my God, I'm going to edit that out. We're not doing in Silver Skype or any other recording program. We are face-to-face. So that is pretty amazing, in my opinion, that you can sit across from somebody and have a straight-up conversation without worrying about, just fucking it up. Dr. Gibson, thanks so much for taking the time out. and Welcome to the Social Media and Politics Podcast. You're welcome. I'm delighted to be here. So you just gave a keynote at this workshop at the University of Sheffield, and you were talking about basically political parties in Britain, their adoption of new technology, but not starting with social media, but going back to campaign websites. So you broke those phases down or that adoption down in four phases. Could you sort of recount where these parties have come from in terms of their websites to where we are with social media? Yeah. So I've been studying this area for uh, longer, probably than I should confess, but at least two decades, which is when the web really first took off in the UK and, and elsewhere in the world as a campaign tool. Although this episode is short, I just want to thank you, Michael Vicetta, and everybody at Social Media Politics for allowing me to review and feature your show. I have zero critiques for your show. I think it's amazing. The quality is great. We already discussed that. Your energy, your interviewing style. And again, the reason I picked this is because this is a topic that most people just, uh, you really have to kind of be into. But he has the following for it, which is great. And the show is very well produced. So kudos to you or whomever is doing the show production. Everything about the show is amazing. And again, thank you so much for allowing me to review the show. If you would like to be reviewed and featured on the Podcast Whisper, please, by all means, go to ReviewMyPod.com. Submit it there. Follow us on Twitter at the Pod Whisper, And just happy potting, everybody. I cannot wait to hear your podcasts. <laughs>